Hello, this is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography, and today I have a video on code replacements in Photo Mechanic. A couple weeks ago, I did my sports workflow in Photo Mechanic, and I mentioned code replacements and that I was going to be doing another video on sp specifically code replacements. So, this is that video. Uh, if you use Photo Mechanic, you probably already know what code replacements are, but if you're new to Photo Mechanic or you don't have Photo Mechanic, uh, first off, it's a great program if you do anything with captioning uh, photos. It makes things super easy to sort through the photos, super easy to caption, super easy to transmit. I go over a little bit of that in the other video, so check it out if you haven't already. So, code replacements are a way that you can go in and set codes and have them change to other stuff basically so this is a code replacement so in the left hand column here I have a list of different codes so M T B T W capital M capital T and then down here into complex stuff like TPT 16 N so kind of kind of looks confusing but it's not so what a code replacement does in photo mechanic is it has a document like this this is just a simple text document dot txt document left hand column has a code the right hand column is what this code corresponds to so using code replacements if I type in M it's going to change the M to Mills Godwin High School or BTW between the Mills Godwin Eagles and Tuscarora Huskies. Um, there's a couple ways to build these. You can build them by hand, which can take a long, long, long time, where you would just go, I'll go down here to the bottom. So you would do something like, like if I was going to type in um, like a head coach. So I want MH for Mills Godwin head coach. So M would be for Mills Godwin, H would be for head coach. Hit tab and I do Mills Godwin head coach, you know, whatever their name is. And then you hit enter, whatever the next code is, hit enter, whatever the next code is, tab, and so on until you're done. That's the long, tedious, boring method. The easy method is there's a website called CodeReplacements.com. And what CodeReplacements.com does is it pulls rosters out for pretty much any sport that you can possibly think of. And it creates the code replacement files for you. So if you're doing NFL football... You have select your program, we're using Photo Mechanic, and then you're going to select your delimiter, or deliminator, and it's set to backslash. So what that does is you type in a backslash, then whatever the code is, as soon as you hit backslash again, it, it replaces the code with whatever you have it set to replace. So home team prefix is whatever you want it to be. So say we're doing the Baltimore Ravens versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. So what I would do is B for Baltimore, P for Pittsburgh, and then however you want to do this, I always do uh, jersey numbers in parentheses. I never do short codes. Um, I always include NFL rosters, player codes, and I don't typically use bracketed keywords. You would hit create roster. Download roster file. And here I have the full code replacement roster for the Baltimore Ravens. So when you look at these, I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete a whole bunch of these. Because these are going to get really redundant and kind of confusing. We'll just do that. Come on. Scroll down here all the way to the bottom. We'll go down to here. 
So if you look down here, these are all ref 31. So these are all the referees numbers. So on the back of their jerseys, they have, you know, their numbers. This will help you replace some Baltimore head coach. Uh, it also has useful football codes for, you know, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, touchdowns, field goals, stuff like that. But this is the part that you really need to learn how to do. So the way the code replacement works is the base is the prefix that you did and the jersey number. So this is Baltimore player. So B, I did B for Baltimore. So B11 would replace to Kamar Aiken. So T would be for team. So if I do T B11, it's Baltimore Ravens, Kamar Aiken. T B11 N, the N at the very end adds the jersey number. And if you look here, you have TPB 11 in. So that adds the position. So Baltimore Ravens wide receiver Kamar Aiken 11. So if you if you look at this, it's kind of simple. These are all the combinations that you can get. So you can get just a player name, team and player, team player jersey number, player number jersey number, team player. Uh, sorry, team position player, position player on, you know, you get the point. So when I download these uh, roster files, I normally um, I normally do two extra codes. The first one I do is an event code. So this could be like, you know, where it was held. So I would do BTW between the Baltimore Ravens and Pittsburgh Steelers. And then I do something like event we could do, you know, Sunday afternoon's game held at MT Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. So something simple like that so you don't have to type all that. The other thing I do is a score, which is S, so I could do you know, Baltimore Ravens. Um, we'll just do defeated Steelers X to X. Something simple like that. Period. Now I'm going to save save this, but. It doesn't really matter because we're not using this one. But see here I have the event during the VHSL 5A Girls Soccer Championship held at Robinson Secondary School in Fairfax, Virginia. And then score, Mills Godwin defeated Tuscarora 4-3 to in overtime. So high school you don't have rosters on code replacements. If you don't want to build one, you can use a custom roster where it's the same thing. Select your sport, go through the same codes. And then prefix, type in your team name, and then you need to do an Excel spreadsheet with three columns. The first column is going to be the jersey number. The second column is going to be the name of the player. The third column is going to be the position. So you'll just get something like one, you know, it'll look something like one Joe Smith quarterback. You know, something like that, and then... um on down for all the jerseys. You have team one, home team, and visiting team. You hit create roster, and it opens up just like the one that we downloaded for the Ravens. So once you have your roster, this is the roster. What you want to do is open up photo mechanic. You're going to go to edit, settings, set code replacements. If it's not already in there, you're going to hit add. You're going to find out wherever it is, and you're going to hit open. And then if you need to edit it, you can just hit edit, you know, add, change, whatever you need to do. And then make sure you hit reload. Delimiter character is right here. That's your backslash. And you're going to hit OK. Now, the way this works is when you go into the photo, hit info, and it's going to bring up your IPTC. Now, when I'm capturing photos, I always have Bridge opened up also with all the photos, just in case you get 
you know, something where the jersey number is obstructed, you can flip through your sequence and figure out what it is. So this is how the code replacements would work for this. So I'm going to do the backslash. Now, I didn't have positions for any of these players, so we're not going to be using the position code. So we're going to do T for team. And then this is Tuscarora, so T13. And then I want the jersey number, so I'm going to hit N, hit the backslash again, and it replaces with Tuscarora High School's Anna Felber 13. So then I'm going to do N, action. So we have the code for against Mills Godwin, which would be AM, against the Mills Godwin Eagles, my event code, and my score code. And that's it. So we'll move on to the next one. So TT1 in in action AM. And that's pretty much how fast this can go once you get good. And this one I already have captioned, but if you look here, both these jersey numbers are obscured. So I would go into bridge and I'd find the photo. So this is 139 and I'd go back. Okay, so I know that's four and I can see there that's 11. So that's why it's helpful to keep bridge open or whatever program open with all the photos so you can figure out what it is. But that's that's code replacements in a nutshell. So they're simple to use. They're they're speed up your workflow immensely. Um, if you have any questions on code replacements, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you have any other questions in general or you want to see something else, let me know. Send me a message. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video. If, this has been Russell from Russell Tracy Photography. Have a good day.